Yes, Gawa. <laughs> There's one other block that's important to use that's in the CAM toolbox and it's called CAM Table Manager. And what it is for is, is when you continually calculate these new CAMs and you put it into a CAM Struct Select, it gives you a new CAM ID table uh, or a CAM ID number, it loads all the data down into the memory. When you calculate a new one, it'll load new data into an open space of memory. But it does not automatically release that memory of the unused CAMs. So eventually, you do run the risk, if you recalculate CAMs a lot, that you will consume all the memory space. So what this, uh, what this will do is it will uh, buffer up a couple of uh, the CAM IDs, and then it'll start using them to release the memory so that you never run out of uh, CAM point storage space. So um, the note here is that if you do just have a single static CAM for your application, uh, if it's a very simple application and you're not recalculating things on the fly, then it's not necessary, of course. But uh, most of the ones we've run into in the field, they're always change. And uh, it's important to make sure that this block is here so that you release the memory periodically.